Manufacturing Trading Section of Income Statement, Crazy IGCSE. Welcome to Crazy IGCSE. For those of you who are new to my channel, hi, this is Crazy IGCSE, where you can study seven IGCSE subjects at one place. The subjects include business, economics, accounting, biology, physics, maths, English as second language, tips, paper structure, and solved past papers. So here's IGCSE at your fingertips. Please do subscribe and like. So this video has been requested by Fatima Jazila for explaining the manufacturing trading account section. So the trading section of a manufacturing account is quite different from a normal income statement as we have to include the production cost which is found after constructing the manufacturing account. So we have to add the production cost along with the purchases of finished goods and add the opening inventory of finished goods and minus the closing inventory of finished goods. Now let's see an example of a question. So here it's about Yasmin who opened a garment factory on 1st May 2015 and they asked you to prepare a manufacturing account which is this part so this part we have uh, made a manufacturing account and found found the cost of production which is 83,200. then they gave you to calculate the cost of sales for the year ended 30 april 2016. so for finding the cost of sales we have to do the purchase of finished goods opening inventory of finished goods minus the closing inventory of finished goods plus the uh, production cost so here in this question, we don't have any opening inventory of uh, finished goods. So we can skip the opening inventory of finished goods. However, there is a purchase of finished goods. So the purchase of finished goods is this part. This purchase of finished goods. So we add 15,700. Then we have the production cost, which we found 83,200. And then we can minus it from the closing finished good, which is over here. We don't use the closing raw material amounts for income statement. We always use the finished goods value for manufacturing account. So then we deduct 6,800 and we get the cost of sales is 92,100. Then they tell us to calculate the gross profit for the year. Gross profit of the year is calculated by revenue minus cost of sales. So the revenue over here in this question is 113,640. So we can do 113,640 minus the cost of sales, which we found in this question, which is 92,100, and we get 21,540. Then we have to calculate the percentage of gross profit to revenue. So here we have to calculate the gross profit margin. So we can do gross profit by revenue into 100. So gross profit is 21,540 divided by the revenue, which is 113,640 into 100. And they told us to do it for two decimal places. So it comes up to 18.95 percentage. Then suggest two ways in which Yasmin could increase the percentage of gross profit to revenue. She could increase the selling price or she could reduce the cost of sale or reduce the, um, uh, the cost of raw materials or like buy cheaper raw materials. So cheaper raw materials is also an option. And that would reduce her, increase her gross profit. So this is the end of our video. Hope you all hope you'll understood this topic and thank you for watching. Also, you can click on the card above to look at the manufacturing accounts part one and part two theory. Thank you very much for watching Crazy IGCSE.